Hello and welcome your faces back to Black Leather 90's channel Cause today we're going to talk about some new updates that, and info for Black Ops 3 Because if you go to the PlayStation Store it has been updated for the pre-orders for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 That you'll be able to get a bonus map of Nuketown which will be redesigned and feature the new movement systems that has been implemented into Black Ops 3 which means we'll have some nice new wall run spots and we'll have the same old buildings probably just redesigned a little bit differently and on top of that info which will be even more interesting info for all you people of the, there has been new weapons that ha haven't been shown before in Black Ops 3 and are not available in the beta but will most likely be available when the actual game comes out because the devs are working on some of the guns that are classified some of the shotgun classes some of the sniper classes an LMG and a couple of assault and submachine gun classes which if you go to Call of Duty Updates Facebook page you can see these pictures of some nice little throwback guns that were in Black Ops 2 that so today that they have announced new weapons in Black Ops 3 that haven't been shown before and weapons that are not available in the beta for Black Ops 3 which means that they are classified because the devs are working on it to redesign some of these weapons which some of them are throwback weapons that you guys might remember from Black Ops 2 such as the M27, the MP7, the Remington shotgun and what looks like the XR72 sniper rifle that they have put into Black Ops 3 along with a couple of other new guns such as a 7 round burst LMG a fully automatic shotgun and a pump action shotgun that all haven't got names for them yet but yeah if you like what you see and you like what I do, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with all the new info on Black Ops 3 and stuff. Oh yeah!